I have another headlamp I want to share with you today. Today, it is the Nightcore NU25 Ultralight. If you're interested in hearing my thoughts on this, keep watching. All right, just before we begin, I would like to thank the company Flashlight Brand for sending me the Nightcore NU25 Ultralight headlamp so that I could share it with you. So the quick backstory is, is this came as a result of a comment from one of my viewers who mentioned that this was a very popular light with ultralight hikers on the Appalachian Trail, and they wanted to hear my thoughts. So I did reach out to Flashlight Brand, they did send it to me, and now I'm going to share my thoughts with you. All right, so what we'll do, as always, we'll go down to the tabletop. I'll go over the key features for this light, as well as its physical and performance specifications and its modes of operation. And then, of course, we'll get outside and do some testing. All right, just before we take a closer look at the Nightcore NU25 Ultralight headlamp, I thought I'd share with you what else it came with. So this is the box that the light arrived in. Considerable amount of information on the outside of the box. Of course, it does also have a manual and warranty information and a USB Type-C charging cable. And I also want to share this with you, and this is the business card from Flashlight Brand, the company who sent me this light. They would like me to share this information on the card so that uh, show you how you can get a 10% discount or cash back. So I'll share that with you now. Now let's bring the headlamp back in and take a look at what its key features are. So right off the top, as I mentioned, it is an ultra light headlamp coming in at 1.59 ounces, which is 45 grams. It does have a 400 lumen, 64 meter throw uh, lamp or rating to it. It does come with a spotlight, a floodlight, and a red light. And of course, you can see it has this ultralight headband attached to it. And we'll talk more about how that operates in a little bit. Now, as far as physical specifications for this light, it, the overall length right across here is 2.37 inches, which is 60 millimeters. Its width from top to bottom is 1.45 inches, which is 36.8 millimeters. And its depth front to back is 0.98 of an inch, which is 24.9 inches. And as I mentioned, it is comes in at 1.59 ounces or 45 grams. And of course, that is what this light is all about. It is truly one of the lightest, if not the lightest headlamp I have ever held in my hands or had the opportunity to review. It does have an impact resistance of one meter drop and it is waterproofed with an IP66 rating. So as far as performance specifications go for the Nightcore NU25, it does have quite a few different settings. To start with, what I want to point out is that it has two LEDs on the front that will give you a combination of either flood with one LED and spot with the other LED. And some of the settings will combine both the flood and the spot, especially when you're talking about the higher settings. So let's start there. With both of those activated, you, that's where you get your high of 400 lumens, which will last two hours and 40 minutes. You can step that down to a medium uh, setting of 200 lumens, which will last for four hours and 40 minutes, and even a low setting of 60 lumens, which will last for 10 hours and 25 minutes. Now, if you just want to use the spotlight alone, you can set that at a medium setting of 200 lumens, which will also last for four hours and 15 minutes, or a low setting of 60 aluminums lasting for 10 hours and 30 minutes. Then if you want to use the floodlight on its own, you can have a medium setting of 200 lumens, again, lasting four hours and 15 minutes, or a low of, of 60 lumens lasting for 10 hours. Flood also has an ultra low setting of six lumens, which will last for 45 hours. That's the lowest setting, and I think that's the one that you would use most often when you're in your tent and maybe even to be able to read with. Now, the NU25 does also have red light LEDs, and there are two settings for the red light. First, you can have it on at a constant of 10 lumens, which will last for 16 hours, or you can set it to flash, which will also uh, come in at 10 lumens, although uh, Nightcore doesn't provide how long the flashing light will last. 
The light also is equipped with an SOS at 400 luminums. Again, it doesn't say how long that will last. And a beacon, so a slower mode beacon, also at 400 lumens. So as you can see, there's quite a number of settings for such a small light. Now, of course, I just gave you a lot of information, so I will be putting all of this in the video description for your reference. Just before we go into the operation of the Nikkor NU25, I thought I'd give you a few close-ups so I can show you some of the features built into the light itself. So let's start right at the top. So right up here, you can see that there are two rubber-sealed buttons. This is the power button on this side, and this is the mode operating button on that side. So all the functions of the light are done with either or a combination of those two buttons. On the side is the USB Type-C charging port. You can see there, it has a good rubber seal on it that helps to, for its IP66 uh, weatherproof rating. You can also see that the lamp has about a 45 degree set of uh, tilt to it, and you can see the tilt mechanism in the back here. I will be showing you this set of LEDs that run next to the mode button because that's your power indicator to show you how much battery life you have. On the back of the headlamp, there's just one small square of foam for comfort against your head, but this is so light you can barely notice it's there regardless. And of course, the thing that makes this light stand out and be distinct from virtually every other light that I've seen is this bungee cord system that is used for a head strap. So it is exactly that. It is a bungee cord with reflective material woven through. It is one continuous set of cord that runs all the way through the headlamp on the back on each side, as you can see, and there is a cord lock on the back. So it is affixed here, but the adjustment is done by pressing down on this button on top and then you can feed the amount of cord you need to through the uh, cord lock so that you bring it into the uh, size needed for your comfort and I will demonstrate what this feels like and looks like on me in a few moments time. All right let's get into the operation of the light. So as I mentioned everything is done from right here with these two buttons the power button and the mode button on this side. To turn the light on, you simply start with a long press of the power button. It has that little bit of a delay just to help prevent uh, accidentally turning it on with just a quick bump. So when the light comes on, it comes on in the mix mode, meaning both the spotlight and the floodlight or LEDs are lit up and operating at the same time. If I want to change the lumen settings, I just press the power button so it comes on in the mix mode of a low, medium, and high, and it will just rotate back and forth from low, medium, and high. Now, if I want to move over to the spotlight, press the mode button, and now I'm operating in spotlight. And in spotlight, I can press the power button to go medium and low. As you can see, it just rotates through there. If I want to take it over to floodlight, press the mode button again, and once again, I can just run through the two settings for that light. Now, if I want to go to the red light, press the mode button again. And as you can see, it is the two red LEDs are lit up. And to change that into a flash in red, I press the power button and it will start flashing in red. Now, to turn the light off at any point, it is a long press of the power button and the light is now off. I'll point this out right now because I think it's worth showing at this point is there is an electronic lockout on this light and that's great. Not so much when you're wearing it, but if you're dropping this into your pocket or your pack and you don't want to have it accidentally turn on, then to electronically lock the light out, you're actually going to press both the mode button and the power at the button at the same time and hold them down. And after about a second, you'll see the light flash three times. And now the light is locked out. If I press the power button, it only gives me a temporary flash. And it's just telling me that the light is locked out. If I press and hold again, the light will come on. And now we're ready for regular operation. So we can work our way through. Let me turn the light off. Now, there is an ultra low setting for the flood, which is great for all that time. You don't want either to use the battery and you don't need that much lumen settings. And to access that, we double press the power button while the light is off. So let me double press it. 
So now I'm down to the ultra low of six lumens. I actually quite like that setting, so it's, it's quite a useful setting to have. Long press the button again to turn it off. If I want to access the um, SOS and the beacon, I do it while the light is off and I will double press the mode button. So a quick double press here and you'll see the lights coming on in SOS. And if I want to change that over to just a beacon light, then I press the power button and it will just flash every so often as a beacon for times you want to use that. Again, a long press of the light will turn this off. While the light is off, if you want to see how much power you have left, then you're going to press the mode button just quickly. And you'll see the LEDs light up here. So there are four LEDs, each showing 25% of the power level in the battery. So you can see I am running in the higher percentage of uh, power right now for this light. All right, just before we go outside and do some testing with the Nikkor NU25 Ultralight, I thought I'd show you how uh, you to adjust this on your head. So as I showed a minute ago, all the adjustment is done by pressing on the cord lock and pulling the cord through once you put it over your head to adjust for the comfort. So it's very easy to do. Place it on, reach to the back, push on the button, pull some of the cord through, and you'll find when it's at your most comfortable. And I'll tell you, within moments, you forget you're wearing this light. It is that light and that comfortable to wear. I don't feel any pressure on my head at all. I don't feel any movement of the light when I move around. So it really is a nice ultralight light if this is what you're looking for. All right, now let's get outside and do some demonstrations with it. Doing the nighttime testing for the Nightcore NU25UL or ultralight. And I'm outside of my home. I'll be casting the beam to start with against the side of my home so you get an idea of what the pattern looks like. So let's turn it on. It will come on in the combination of spot and flood. So that's the low spot and flood, medium spot and flood, high spot and flood. Now let's flip over to just spotlight, low, high, and we'll flip over to just floodlight, low and high. And now we'll flip over to the red light, which you can see is significant out here. It's actually quite an almost enough to navigate, but not quite. Now let's turn the light into the backyard and do the same tests. So I'm casting the light, the combination of spot and flood into the trees of my backyard, about 60 feet away. I can see it. I don't think it's going to really show up well on the camera. Let's take it up to the next. That's medium and that's high. Now you should be able to see that quite clearly. Plenty of light to illuminate. I can see all around me. Let's just take it into, so this is spot only low, spot high. That spot high, sorry. Flood low and flood high. All right, let's wrap this video up with a few closing thoughts for the Nightcore NU25 Ultralight Headlamp. So I, to begin, I just want to thank the viewer who suggested that I take a look at this light because now I can really see why ultralight hikers prefer this light. It is just that light. It is so light. This is the lightest headlamp that I'm aware of. Certainly the lightest that I've ever had in my possession. The thing uh, that I'll mention next, of course, is the very distinctive headband system. So in fact, this headband system is part of what contributes to the ultralight nature of this light. But one of the things I'll say about it is it's actually much more comfortable than you originally might think it would be. And uh, yeah, once you get it on, you really don't even notice it's there. And one of the things I like about this headband is the fact that you're not going to build up any perspiration if you're moving through the woods at night and you might get a little damp along your forehead from a solid headband. Not going to happen with this one at all. Do you know, one of the things that really stands out for me on this light is the extended run times, considering how small the built-in battery is. So it does come with a 650 milliamp hour rechargeable lithium ion battery. It is not accessible. You can't replace it, but that's not a negative. But you know, in comparing this with a lot of other headlamps, 
the run times are almost as good as they are with bad or lights that have batteries twice this size. Quite amazing that they're able to accomplish this. Now, there is a lot of lumen settings on this. Very easy to operate once you understand how the two buttons work on top, but it gives you quite a bit of choice from a very low of six lumens all the way up to a com combined lighting of 400 lumens. The fact that it has the two red LEDs is a real plus for many people who are like to have that, and a lot of the headlamps that come out today don't have that red light included. So Nikkor continues to do so in their headlamps, so I think that's a real plus. Okay, that's all the information I will share with you today on the Nikkor NU25 ultralight headlamp. I'll put all the information that I've given you in the video description below. If you have any questions or comments on this light, then please put those in the comment section below. But until next time, get out and explore and take that path less traveled because it will make all the difference. Bye for now.